Hey guys, Matt here. Thought I'd show you a really simple uh, Hartley oscillator circuit. Unfortunately, the resistors had to be uh, variable or I was not able to get it to work. Yeah, closer look. Here's your tank, two um, inductors soldered together and a capacitor. And then you have two bigger capacitors uh, containing the tank. There's a variable resistor. You can get a big pack of them for about $15. And you got uh, a 10 millihenry uh, inductor there. And I use the, uh, what is it, the N, PN2222 or something like that, um, transistor. Uh, some more variable resistors. So that's the breadboard. Two joined together. The schematic that I made, um, you can download a printable version. Um, I got a link to that. There's a box of transistors. I don't know, it might have cost me around 20 bucks or something. I don't know. And there's the 2222. Inductors. For some reason, it's called a color wheel inductor set or whatever. I don't know why. And the pack of variable resistors, uh, somewhere around 15 bucks for all that. And they're good enough for prototyping, you know, they're not precision or anything. They're good enough. I don't have any complaints. Not spectacular, not great, but good enough. Yeah, I like these capacitors. They're pretty cool. Easy to work with. Power supply. Let's um, power that thing up. Half an amp is more than good enough. Voltage will be 9 volts, like a 9 volt battery. Quick startup. And here's my oscilloscope. Let's power that thing up. All right, ready to go. I think it's storage default and then clear if I'm not mistaken.
plug in the probe. Do that square wave check, you know, internal to the oscilloscope. Hit auto button. And I already adjusted that little screw on the probe to get it, you know, as flat as possible. Okay, power up the uh, breadboard. And it looks like it's using 0 0.056 amps. So 5.6 hundredths of an amp? I don't know. And connect the oscilloscope probes. And we'll push the automatic button on the oscilloscope. Okay, got our wave. And I'd like to see what the frequency is. Okay, here's our frequency. Um, 5.52 kilohertz. So, with an audible range. You can see I got a relatively stable wave considering I'm using a breadboard. And the key is solder those two um, inductors together. And you have a little lead going out the middle, you know, the center tap. And there we go. 5.53. It kind of varies a little bit. Five point five three kilohertz. Alrighty. Well, I will adjust those um, variable resistors and see what happens. Yep. What a mess. Now there's nothing. Oof. Looks awful. Okay, now we're back. We're going the other way. Okay. Flatlined. Alright, we're pretty much back. Ugly. Alright. Well, by now we kind of messed everything up a little bit. It's uh, interesting. Yeah. Well, anyways, that was our simple Hartley oscillator on a breadboard. And as you can see, I really needed those variable resistors. 
I tried it with regular resistors and man wasn't easy all right see you guys until next time